Welcome to Home with Simone. My name is Simone. And as always, a huge thank you to everyone that continuously supports my channel, whether new or existing. You guys mean so much to me and I'm so happy that you've been on this journey with me. Today's video is a nail embellishment video. I'm not going to do too much talking in this because you guys can clearly see what I'm doing. But if you do have any questions about any of the items, feel free to leave me the questions in the comment section. I will also link any links that I can associated with my nail embellishment videos or how to put on the poly gel nails in the description as well so you guys can check that out for reference. I hope you enjoy this video. This is my first time using the caviar beads. I like them actually. I thought they were really versatile. The only thing is that I had to use my file to clean up the sides a little bit and get rid of some of the ones that didn't really attach too good. Also, this little container I got from Shein was a godsend with putting on the caviar beads. Because I don't always have a clear direction where I'm going with my nails when I start, I do go back and if I notice that I'm using a specific um, embellishment more on one nail and not as much on the other, I would go back and I will add little bits of each of the embellishments on each nail so that it makes sense and it looks intentional. I really surprised myself this time because this is actually a little bit out of my comfort zone using other embellishments beside the crystals. I've used the um, crushed embellishment before but I've never used the caviar beads or the other silver bits that I used in my nails and they were not too hard to work with. I think I need some more practice, but overall, I love how it turns out. I think it looks really beautiful. I wanted to keep my original set on because I want you guys to notice that when you're doing embellishments, it does change the shape of your nail. So if you want your nails to remain that stiletto type or super pointed, then you have to kind of over file your nails so they'll be a little bit thinner than originally and then in that way when you put your embellishments on them then they will look exactly the way the shape that you want them to be so that's just a little tip I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I hope I'm inspiring you to be creative and take things into your own hands, literally. <laughs> Until next time, I'll see you in my next video.